Hello everyone. Welcome to the course on data structure and algorithm. In this video, we are going to discuss uh, priority queues. In our previous videos, we have uh, discussed regular queues, then uh, double-ended queues, uh, circular queue, and all other different queues. So in this video, we are going to talk about priority queues. So what is priority queues? Normally in queue, we have elements like this. Now in priority queues, along with every element, we'll be having some priority. All right. For example, in this case, C is having priority 1, then uh, A is having priority 2, B is having priority 4. All right. Lower the priority means the number is, for example, in this case, 1 is the lowest, uh, lowest one, but it has got the highest priority. And uh, number 5 is having the lowest priority. So C is having the highest priority and D is having the lowest priority. And without priority, if I have to put uh, all these elements in a queue, we can directly put like A, B, C, D, E. But with priority, if I have to put, then uh, I'll be writing the one with highest priority, that is C first, then uh, the A with two priority. So let me write down priority also, wait two. Then uh, in case of E, I'll be writing the third prior, then B and then D. So priority with four and priority with five. So this one is the highest one, highest priority, and this one is having the lowest priority. So this is how you can move from highest priority to lowest priority. Now, so we can implement uh, this uh, priority queue using array, using linked list, and using heap. But in this video, we'll be, uh, you know, seeing the implementation of priority queue using array. So this is an array implementation of priority queue. For example, we have, let us take the previous example only. We have these five elements and with the priority two, four, one, five, three. So let us start inserting every element one by one. How do we insert an element into a priority queue? All right, so insertion. So in case of insertion, the very first one, a element with priority 2. So basically we are having, we, we will be maintaining, maintaining two different arrays. All right. One array, one array for uh, the elements, the actual data elements and other array uh, would be for the priority of those uh, elements. So during our implementation, we'll be keeping two different arrays. All right. But over here, we can consider them as a single array. Right. Then comes uh, uh, B. Now B is having priority 4, so it is having, you know, the lower priority. So it should go after A, so it should go after A. So B will be stored over here. Now then comes C. Now C is having the highest priority. So the thing is, it would come in a beginning. That means I need to move this B over here and I need to uh, move A over here so that this space is created wherein I'll be putting C. So this B is moved here, this A is moved here, so I have created space for C, and this C is added. Now, next is the D. So, let me just remove this. Next is D. So, D is having priority 5. Priority 5 means it will be, it will go all the way to the end because now it is having the lowest priority. So, it will be added at the end. And last, we are having element E with priority 3. So we know that priority 3 would go somewhere between this and D. So for that, I need to move to this. I need to move this one to this one. And I need to create space for this. So for that, I'll be moving this to this. I'll be moving this to this. And the space that I have created, uh, that I'll be putting the E over here with priority 3. So this is how we can insert different elements with different priority into the queue. Now what if I wish to delete something? So insertion is done. What if I wish to delete something? So how do we delete? So for deleting, for deleting any element, uh, let's say I want to delete, uh, you know, this E, which is having priority 3. Let's say this element I wish to delete. So how do we do? So in case of deletion, we simply overwrite. We simply overwrite this element over here. So the moment you know this is copied over here, this will be deleted. And this will be overwritten over here. And the total number of elements, let's say, uh, let's say total is a variable, 
right now and having 5 as the value right so after deletion we will be doing total minus minus that means that is decremented all right so this is what we are going to do over here so we'll be copying b over here in third position so this is overwritten we'll be copying d over here so this is overwritten and this particular space now will be doing total minus minus so this particular space will not be utilized all right so this is how we do insertion and deletion now let us look at it with programmatically let us try to write a program for the same all right so this is about insertion so let us assume that we are are already having something like this uh, uh, let's say we have um, you know a priority like one two four and five with element let's say a b c and d we are having something like this now i wish to add new element let's say e with priority let's say three so i want to add something over here something in between so first what i need to do i need to you know move I need to move, I need to, you know, because at the end I'll be, you know, uh, inserting over here. This element will go over here. So for that, I need to find the proper place. So how do I do that? So for that, um, let us start understanding it one by one. This is a very simple concept. So we start a counter, counter is equal to zero and total elements, total elements is for example, in this case, total elements are four, right? Because there's one, two, three, four, there are four elements. So we start with zero, zero is less than four. Yes. Now we check new priority, new priority is three and priority of this one, that is one. So PQ priority. So one, so three is greater than or equal to one. Yes, that is true. So count plus plus. So count will be now one. Now check one is less than four. Yes. So next priority is two. So check two is greater than or equal to one. Yes. So count plus plus. So count now is equal to three. And now check next is four. So sorry, new, uh, next is uh, four. So new priority is equal to three and uh, this priority is equal to four. So three is greater than or equal to four. No, this is false. All right. So it will come out. But by the time uh, my count will be over here. So count is over here. This is the place where I am going to insert. Now after this while loop. So this while loop is all about, you know, finding the appropriate place. It's all about finding the appropriate place of this particular uh, element which we wish to add. So appropriate place has been identified that this is where we, I am going to add. All right. Now check if count equal to total element. Now, which is this case? This is different case. Now, supposing I'm having, you know, something like this. I'm having uh, an array where one, two, three, four, uh, let's say A, B, C and D. All right. And I wish to add, let's say E with a new priority five. So if this is the case, my count will be over here. My count will be over here. So count will be, uh, sorry, over here because this is the last element and count is equal to four and total element is equal to four. So it is the, if this is the case, then I don't need to shift anything. I'll be just putting over here. But in our case is the case. In our case, the example that we have taken, this is different so let me rub out everything all right let me rub out everything and let me go to the original problem so now in this case so this will not be true because count equal to 0 1 2 count equal to 2 and total number of elements equal to 4 so 2 is not equal to 4 so this is true so in this case it will enter over here all right and what do i need to do you can simply say because I need to create space. I need to create space for the new element. Okay. So this C and A, I'm not going to touch C and A. I'll be keeping this as it is. But for this D, now I need to move D over here and I need to move B over here. So first I'll be moving B over here. Then I'll be moving D over here. That means I'll have to start from the last element. So I'll be start from the last element. This is the total element. This is number four. If I start from zero, one, two, 
3. So this is the 4. And I'll be copying minus 1. Minus 1 means this is the third location and this is the fourth location. So third location is copied into fourth location because k equal to 4. All right, k minus 1, third location is copied into fourth location. And I'm copying both. I'm copying element and I'm copying priority. So I'm copying b and I'm copying 5. So b and 5 both are copied. All right, and then we'll do it one more time because we'll be doing till we get count. So for 3, we'll be doing it and then minus minus. For this also, we are going to do so that d and 4 are also moved. So now when I come out, so this is my count. So now I can put this new element over here and I can put this new priority over here. So new element is put in PQ of count and new priority is put in PQ priority of count. So this E and 3 are copied and then at the same time total elements are incremented previously it was 4 now the total elements are 5 because we have added one more element so this is how insertion is done in priority queue now let's say deletion all right so how do we delete a specific element from a priority queue so for that also let us take one example we are having some priority like 1 2 3 4 5 and let's say we are having a b c d and e these are all the elements and i wish to delete let's say this element i wish to delete a having priority 3 means i wish to delete this particular element so first thing is in case of deletion i need to find out that particular uh, element whether the element is there or not so for that i am running a loop from count equal to zero so this is count equal to zero and how many total elements are there right now there are total five elements are there so i'll be starting from zero and check my pq element of count is equal to delete element as well as pq priority is equal to delete priority if it is the case then come out so first check b and one so no then check c and two check no then a and three yeah a and three so at this particular point of time when count equal to 2, count equal to 2, this condition will hold true and it will come out. So at this point of time, the value of count will be 2. Now check if count equal to total element means if we do not find the element in the array, in that case count may go up to total element, count may go up to all the way 5. So in that case, the element, we did not find the element, you can print something. But in our case, we have found we have found at location number two so now what do we need to do so deletion as i said deletion is something like overwriting in computer so what we are going to do let's say one two three four and five these are the thing and b c a e d so what we are going to do we are going to copy this e over here we are going to copy this D over here and then we'll be removing this by decrementing the total element. So we start from I equal to count. That means we start from one, all right, and we copy I plus one, means I plus one is copied into Ith location, means the third thing, third location is copied into second location, the fourth location is copied into third location right and then what do we do we decrement the element so previously it was five now it is reduced to four so now this part is removed so now we are having an array with four elements so this is just an example over here we are uh, having a main wherein we insert a few elements for example first we insert that a with two then we insert b with four all right then we insert c with one so c will go here in the beginning all right so c with one will go here and then a two and b four and then we are having d5 so d5 d5 will go here and then we are having two elements with same priority e and f so we know that they will go in between so uh, let me draw this so first c1 a2 and then over here we'll be having e3 then f3 
and then lastly we we will be having these two element b4 and d5 so this is how we are going to and when i run a display so i'll be getting this c a e f b d c a e f b d with all this priority and if i remove element like c equal to 1 if i remove element all right and if i display then i'll not be getting this i'll start from a equal to 2 and i'll go up to d so i'll be starting from a equal to 2 and i'll go up to d so this is how it will be displayed all right so this is all about uh, priority queue in our next video we will be uh, talking of linked list so thank you guys for watching this video